this video, we will cover how to do the room takeoff. To begin with, select the Draw Rectangular Room button located in the upper left, and begin by drawing all rooms on the blueprint that are a simple rectangle. Note that we can change the room label in the bottom right to have it more accurately represent the name on the blueprint, in this case, Exam 4. We can then select again our Draw Rectangular Room tool and click from the top corner and hold down our mouse cursor until we reach the other corner of the room and let off to draw our rectangular rooms. Continue drawing all of your rectangular rooms around the perimeter of the floor. For rooms that are identically sized, we can right click, select copy, and then paste our rooms into the program using control V and clicking when they are lined up with our walls. This will save some time on rooms that are the same. Again, we will continue with our Draw Rectangular Room tool and trace all of the rooms on the perimeter of the floor. We will skip these physician rooms for now since they require the Free Draw tool, and we will continue with the rest of our rectangular rooms. Once all of our rectangular rooms are drawn, we can then use our free draw tool to begin tracing our rooms. In this example, we'll start and begin tracing, and you'll notice that I have my crosshair and angle lock selected to help increase the speed when drawing rooms with 90 degrees or 45 degree walls. When done, I can simply close out the room or hit the close shape button located at the top. We will continue tracing all of our free draw rooms now along the perimeter of our blueprint. Note that since our angle lock is set on 45, we can snap right to that wall and can continue tracing in a quick fashion to speed up our estimating process. The green dot indicates that the room is ready to close out. In this manner, we will continue along tracing our free draw rooms until all of our rooms in the perimeter are done. Another option to draw rooms is to use the free draw tool to trace around several rooms. In this case, we will use Manager, Physician, Office 3 and 4, and Physician Office 1 and 2. We will trace around, and when the trace is complete,
will then use the Divide Floor tool to draw the interior wall segments splitting the offices from one another. When we have divided the floor of this room that we are drawing, we can then go up and select the Split Room tool to break these into the three offices. In this manner, we can speed up our estimating process by drawing a few less walls. Before we begin drawing our doors, we can go up to the System Setting menu located in the upper left and go to Other Room Properties. And this is where we can change information such as our wall size or our default door, in this case, door without leaves. We'll click Apply, then OK, and then we will begin applying our doors to all of our rooms. We will simply line up the door with the gap in the wall and begin placing our doors by left clicking on our mouse. We will continue this all the way around the perimeter for all of the rooms we have drawn in. Some helpful hotkeys when using the door tool, press X to switch door style, press spacebar to switch whether the door opens into or out of a room, and press the shift key to select which side the hinge opens. Now that all of our doors are added, we will begin tracing the free draw of the large hall area in the middle of our floor. Similar to before, we will trace around and follow our walls until the hallway is completed. This will help us in proper product application later when we work on the restrooms and other internal rooms that need to be embedded into this area so no product is overestimated. Again, we'll click around and trace our shape using our crosshairs to line up with the center of the black lines for the wall.
Now that our hallway has been drawn out, we will begin drawing our storage equipment rooms and restrooms using the free draw tool. Again, we will simply trace our walls and close out the room when we are finished. Once our last internal room is finished being drawn using the free draw tool, we will use the embed room tool to select a room and then embed it into our hallway so that no product will be applied for the area of our med room, restrooms, or the storage area. We will click on the room we wish to embed and then go up to the shape edit menu on the far right and select embed room. We will then repeat the process by clicking on the restroom and then clicking embed room. You'll notice that once the room has been embedded, the measurements and room label will change to blue to let us know that these rooms are embedded into our hallway. We can then add our doors to our storage room and restrooms. Again, we will choose door without leaf. Line them up with the walls and click to apply. Once our doors have been added, we can then select the Takeout tool and begin taking out the areas for our countertops. We will simply select a point on the wall and begin tracing similar to the free draw mode and close out our shape so that no flooring product will be applied to this area in our product assignment step. We will continue using the takeout tool to remove all of our countertop areas for the rest of the drawing. For common cabinet layouts, it is also possible to copy and then paste a cutout to save time.
Now that we have all of our takeout areas completed on our floor plan, we will now divide the floor between the reception area and hallway where there is a transition between carpet and sheet vinyl. To do this, we will select our hallway by clicking on our room. Then we will go up to the Shape Edit menu, select Divide Floor, and locate the point along our wall where we wish to left click and then divide our floor for the transition area. The last step for our room takeoff video is to go around and make sure that all of our walls are lined up properly with our blueprint. To do this, we will left click a room, in this case position 1 and 2, and then we will grab the handle located in the middle of the wall and then drag the wall over until it lines up with the wall on our blueprint. We will then do the same thing for our north wall so that our doorway will line up properly with the wall of our hallway so that product can be applied evenly into both rooms. You'll see that as we get close, there is a dotted line indicating that the shared wall will now share the common doorway.